Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler and today we have a comparison video for you. A comparison of the Savivi Doris and the Off-Grid Knives Badger. Alright, so the Savivi Doris and Off-Grid Knives Badger. I felt that these two needed to be compared because once I open them, you're going to see, right? Do these not look similar? And actually, yeah, I need to get that pocket clip back on there. So, that's, I'm not going to do that. So that thing needs a pocket clip. It's supposed to have a deep carry pocket clip on there, and it carries just as deep as this. I should put it on there for the comparison. I don't know why I took it off. I don't remember taking it off. But let's just pretend like it's there for this video because I don't, I don't want to put that back on. Actually, I think I lost it. So I'm going to do these comparisons based on seven different factors, kind of stealing a little bit from Slicey Dicey's, uh, hold on. Slicey Dicey's, you know, his, his format, because it makes the most sense. He, he did really good choices when he chose how to compare these knives. And the seven factors are going to be looks, carry factor, ergonomics, blade, fit and finish, fidget factor, and value. So we're going to compare all of those factors with these two and I hope you see these two as a relevant comparison because I do I mean I when I first got the off-grid knives badger I immediately thought of my Savivi Doris and I was like yes you know I love the Doris's shape I love the I love everything about the Doris well now they just made another Doris at off-grid knives and I'm like this is fantastic so let's compare these and hopefully at the end it gives you guys a little bit of a direction if you're torn between these two or just some entertainment value also note that if you disagree with me on some of my choices, because some of them are subjective, by all means, feel free to disagree. It's not going to hurt my feelings completely, right? For example, the very first one, looks. Now, which one of these looks better? <laughs> I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. To me, I think the Off-Grid Knives Badger looks awesome. I, I think everything about it, it's just like a tactical, short, little, fat, just awesome knife. That being said... You know, as some of you may like the looks of the of the Doris. I, I really can't see me liking the Doris in any shape over the Off Grid Knives Badger. The, you know, despite what you do to it, so the Off Grid Knives Badger is going to get the aesthetic win here. Now, again, this is one of those that you can really go either way with. I try to get objective as I go further on down the list with things that are much more objective. For example, carry factor. Even without the pocket clip on the Doris because I'm lazy and never put it back on. The the deep carry of a Savivi, which is the same thing as this. And we're back. So as you can see, this is what it looks like as a deep carry on the Doris versus a deep carry on the off-grid knives badger. All that being said, while this sticks out a little bit more than the off-grid knives badger, let's try to get this better into view here. It sticks out a little bit more. The off grid is going to come in like that. The Doris is going to come in like that. They're both still extremely deep carry, A. But B, the off grid knives badger really takes up a massive amount in your pocket. I mean, if you look at these just over the tops of each other, right? Let's see if I can. Nope, really no way to do this as buttoned up as you can. You still see a little bit of the badger sticking out on the bottom because the bottom part of the handle is so fat so I'm actually gonna give the carry factor to the Doris um, despite the Badger being a little bit more deep carry it's gonna take up a little bit more of your pocket and it is significantly heavier I, I don't feel like weighing them I can just tell you they are significantly heavier this is super light and this is just probably maybe a half an ounce to an ounce heavier than the actual Doris ergonomics so this one's interesting because I, the reason that I fell in love with the Doris is for the ergonomics. Holding it even in the choked up position just feels really, really good. Without the choked up position, it feels okay. The Badger, though, in hand, because it's a pain in the ass to carry, it has this fat, we'll call it an ass in the back, that just really, really, just in your hand, just feels really good. Just really good. So... These are both excellent ergonomic-wise. I, I really have no complaints on either or, but 
out of subjective feel in hand, I have to give the ergonomics to the Badger. Okay, so the next, the next section is Blade. The fun part about this is that these are both D2, they are both drop point, and they both look, both look extremely similar. Now the differences here is this is a hollow grind, this is a flat grind, so this does come down to that 13 thousandths behind the edge. I don't remember what the off-grid knives is coming down to, but it's not quite 13 thousandths behind the edge. It's significantly more. But in turn, when you do that, and you get that significantly more, you know, behind the edge rating, look at those tips. Those tips alone, guys, oh my goodness. So what I'm getting at is, is both of these knives feel like little tanks. When I first got the Dalris, I was like, this thing's a monster. It's a tank. This thing's going to be just so beastly, so beefy. Well, then I got the Off-Grid Knives Badger, and it truly is a tank. It's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more dense. And that tip is so stupid. You're not going to break that tip, guys. I, I think I could probably try to break it and I'm going to fail. So for that alone, for my subjective view, I'm giving the, the blade to the Off-Grid Knives Badger. Now, if you prefer a slicier blade, that can very much just as easily go to the Darus. This is one of those that you can flip-flop back and forth and... I don't think I would argue a point either way. Let's get into the fit and finish. So this was also pretty interesting. This is FRN scales, despite being the only FRN scales that I have zero problems with and can't even tell they're FRN. It's got some stainless steel liners. It does have this locking mechanism. You can turn it into a knife that doesn't, you know, it's a, whatever. That, that, that's just a whatever. I can take that out and not give a shit. But everything else, the action, you know, I know that's not part of it, but it kind of is, right? Because it's it's dead centered, back and forth, up and down, nothing. The Dulris, back and forth, up and down, nothing. The action's pretty good. Again, not part of it, but that's that's more of the, the fidget factor. But dead centered, you have the backspacer here with these, and, and it's a Civivi quality build. Now, you're going to say, how can you pick? Because they're both great. Well, I'm going to pick the Dalris because the Dalris doesn't have painted scales or painted painted liners that are like the paint's coming off. And I barely use this knife, guys. This knife hasn't been through a lot. I used it for review and then it went in the box and it's been sitting there. So hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know. I can't really see my camera from where I'm sitting, but there's... There's all this, like, the paint is coming off of there. And I have to assume it's a paint because it's just coming right off. And I, like I said, barely used it. Unless it was supposed to look like that. In which case, I still fault it because I think the idea is stupid. I, I love the stonewash finish on the blade. But there's no reason to carry that down to the liners to make it look like everything's coming off. Like, it looks just like wear. And I would put it on wear. I think it's paint and not the titanium nitride coating that they put on the blade. So for that reason alone... The fit and finish is going to the Dalris because I couldn't choose. It's minor. I don't really even care. But for this purpose of review and comparison, I have to give the fit and finish to the Dalris. So to recap, the Dalris has taken the carry factor and the fit and finish, while the off-grid knives badger has taken the looks, the ergos, and the blade. Last, well not last, second to last, is fidget factor. So as you can see, these are both on ball bearings. And the cool part is, is they both are great and there's no back and forth blade play on either one so you're gonna say hey tyler how can you figure out which one you like better well i'm gonna tell you it's the off-grid knives badger why because this thick blade just lends itself to a better fidget factor the Dulris, while i love the Dulris, you have to do a little bit more effort into locking it down in order to get it to fall this one's almost like like it falls perfectly now if i were to just do the shakedown on this and yes, it's a little it's a little dirty, but that's not that's not the point. It's I cleaned these out before I did this, and and well, I cleaned them out yesterday when I was doing some notes, and it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's the heavier blade lends itself to a more pseudo uh, fidget factor, it's just more fun to fidget with. And then last but not least, both of these are coming in at sixty five. Uh, the Off-Grid Knives Badger, this black model, ironically, is coming in at fifty nine dollars in Off-Grid right now, but the 
the, the satin finish is coming in at 67 so the funny part is it's like why are you charging more for a satin finish that makes no sense but whatever it's just the sale that they got going on so the pricing is the same this is frn this is g10 so you might say that's a win but i i'm telling you guys i hate frn and i love this knife i love the way it feels in hand this is lighter, light, lighter and more slicey. This one is more dense. It's heavier. It has a robust blade and, in my opinion, better ergonomics. You know, but the painted liners, right? So take that as a plus or minus to the to the value. What I'm going to tell you is, is I'm not picking a winner for the value. I think both of these coming in at the same price point is fair. If I had to choose, and I just kind of did for myself, the overall score is a one tie. Four for the off grid knives badger, two for the Civivi Daris. Now, that means the off grid knives badger wins. But this one is so close that you're going to be happy with either one of these. If you like a medium, more robust knife that you kind of don't worry about, then go with this. But if you want that ultra thin slicing guy, go with the Daris. And either one of these is going to be happy. Or, well, they're both going to be happy when you buy them. They're just like, thank you. But. Anybody is going to be happy with either one of these if this is the type that you're looking for. You're not going to be mad at either one. So, hope this was fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. But, my Savivi Daris just got dethroned for the Off-Grid Knives Badger. My name is Tyler. This has been Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great freaking day, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It genuinely means a lot. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, give me some feedback in the comments below and hit that thumbs down button. In case you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon, which will be listed right here. In that Patreon, we're giving bi-monthly giveaways to just the Patreons based on the number of Patreons that we have in the Patreon. We will also be giving discounts on all the knives that I sell based on the number of Patreons. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great day.